Hi guys, so Mary Lou MacDonald, the leader of Sinn Féin, was interviewed by Sophie Ridge of Sky News on Sunday, where she criticised the UK government when it comes to the Northern Ireland Protocol. Now, on Monday, the UK government wants to implement new measures, a bill, they want to push it through the House of Commons, that would allow ministers to undo parts of the protocol. Now, they claim that the protocol is not working, that the protocol needs to be changed, and this has been condemned by the European Union and it has been condemned by the Irish government. But Boris Johnson and his Brexiteers don't give a crap. They want to, it seems, implement legislation to help the DUP. Let's hear what uh, Mary Lou MacDonald, the leader of Sinn Féin, had to say about this. I should say at this point, obviously, that Brandon Lewis says that part of the reason they want to do this is to effectively restore all elements of the Good Friday uh, Agreement as the uh, assemblies well, are running. Well, can I... Running. Listen, Sophie, 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 that just needs to be scotched. I mean, that that's just... That's, frankly, beyond disingenuous. Uh, the, the Tory government consistently... Uh, abuses language uh, in, in a way that is mesmerising. They say they want to protect the Good Friday Agreement when they take the very actions that undermine and that could potentially destroy the Good Friday Agreement. That's the reality, and they are doing this in plain sight. They are colluding with the section of political unionism to keep the executive down in Belfast, to ensure that the north-south element of the Good Friday Agreement is now uh, not operating, to uh, wage an attack on the protocol, the protocol to guarantee access to the European market, but crucially to ensure no hardening of the border on, on Ireland. They have acted unilaterally in terms of legislation to deal with victims and survivors of the conflict. They threaten still to withdraw from the European Convention uh, on Human Rights. All of the building blocks, in other words, upon which the Good Friday Agreement has been carefully constructed by all of us are now being openly attacked and undermined by the Tory government. And I think it is so important that everybody in political life, quite irrespective of their view, be they conservative, be they Labour, wherever we fall on the political spectrum, we have a joint vested interest in ensuring that the Good Friday Agreement is protected. And the Tories need to be called out on this, not just by politics, but by every sector across civic society and ultimately by, by the people. And I have, whereas I have no confidence, I have to tell you, in Boris Johnson or his government, I have That's... every confidence in decent people across Britain to realise that jeopardising the Good Friday Agreement and the peace that all of us ha have built is totally unacceptable. Well said. Now, what she's talking about here, of course, is Boris Johnson. Now, I don't agree. I don't think I agree completely with what um, Mary Lou MacDonald said here, where she believes that the UK government is working in, in a sense in cahoots with the DUP to undermine uh, the protocol or undermine the Good Friday Agreement. I, I just think it's a case of the UK government wants to use the protocol as a cudgel. They want to use it as a distractor. So whenever, whenever Boris Johnson has a problem, they pull it out and say, we're going to trigger Article 16 or we're going to uh, rewrite the protocol or negotiate, renegotiate it. This is Boris Johnson's modus operandi. It's, it's about distracting the public because... Look, let's call a spade a, a spade here. Boris Johnson and the Brexiteers do not give a crap about Northern Ireland. They don't care. They don't understand the complexities of the peace process, the com complexities of um, power sharing and how things operate in Northern Ireland. But they understand that they can use it as, a, in a sense, a bargaining chip against the European Union and against the Irish government. They understand that the Irish government are concerned, of course, with peace in Northern Ireland and on the island of Ireland. And they understand that the European Union is concerned as well. And they're willing to use Northern Ireland as, uh, in a sense, a bargaining chip to try and extract concessions, but also to use it as a, as a, as a distractor, but also as a cudgel with Brexiteers in uh, Great Britain to demonstrate that the, the Tories care about the Union, that they're using Northern Ireland to represent, uh, in a sense, to represent their feeling, their 
patriotism. We care about Northern Ireland. We care about the Union and we're going to protect it and we're going to use whatever means necessary to protect it. They don't care about the DUP. They don't care about Northern Ireland. So I think, as I said before, and we've seen this with Article 16 when Lord Frost was minister, Brexit minister, Liz Trust, the same. They were talking about triggering Article 16 almost on a weekly basis as a way of distracting from problems Boris Johnson has or in a sense to shake up the system to try and uh, extract something from the European Union. It hasn't worked before. It probably won't work again. But it is concerning that there is legislation coming on Monday, it seems, that would un, uh, unwrite parts of the protocol. Who will benefit from that? I don't know. I don't see how Boris Johnson and the Tories would actually benefit from this. I don't see how the DUP would benefit from it because it would not be removing the protocol completely, which they have asked for. So I don't see where uh, the end game is here. Once again, I, I, I believe this is just uh, an, a distractor that Boris Johnson wants to pull out from time to time to, in a sense, as I said, distract the public from his own shortcomings. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As, as always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.